it's time to go exploring this other half. Uh, we are finally in the backyard. Wow. I could have easily went out, went out here. I'm wondering what's back there. Like, we should go explore. I'm seeing ducks and birds come from over there. That's about that. Uh, I don't know what she said. But yeah, this is all us. From back there where that dude's, where he's at, all the way. Like, I think including up there somehow. But, yeah. But what the hell is this center? I found something strange. Seems to fly too, but uh, I don't know. I mean, we could go exploring, but uh, they don't have spikes. Nice little grass. I would go exploring, but I would go exploring, but it's just another house back there, forest. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, how can I go exploring when I have on no shoes? I gotta go back inside the house and put on my exploring shoes. Yeah. Back here mowing the lawn. Look at that guy! He's mowing the lawn! What? Right, nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, oh shit! I just stepped on a stick. What a stick! Just a stick. All the freaking sticks out of here. See, we gotta go all the way back there. All the way back there. So yeah, someone's some someone else's house. That's our house right there. And there's a guy. He's walking with a dog. I don't know who this is. Yeah, I wish we could put tags in these. But... Uh, there's a guy coming with a dog. Let's go see him. a guy with a dog. He has a bag full of stuff. Uh, what is that? Oh god! Hi dog! You know? Doggy thick out here. It's just sweet. We're just... Oh, I don't know if I'm throwing a I don't know who that is. I get I get Instagram notifications. Ooh, looks good. But yeah, guys. Oh, he actually mowed back here. Okay, nice. See, I told you. He's up there. He's up there. See, I don't know what's bit all dirty. The grass was just watered. So that's what the grass is sticking to my feet. Otherwise, if I was walking through here, this grass wouldn't even stick to my feet. Let's see, he's only up there. Dang. Oh, this is a journey. Freaking ant hills. Shit. Wow. Let's go exploring. Oh, they're really up here. Yeah. Some stuff really up here. Oh, 
Where are we trying to go? Ow, ow. We made it! We made it! We made it! Oh, you fucked up the lawn, my way. So guys, um, oh shit, what's he doing back there? Back up the lawnmower. But anyway guys, my phone is about to die, so, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Like, this is how, this, this is, look how open this is. You could easily go into the next door neighbor's yard and just sit there. Like, howdy, neighbor. So his son was actually a YouTuber. I think it, I said, dude, just show me the secret. How you, look at this, you can easily walk into somebody's backyard or just go on an adventure. You can go from your backyard over there, just walk, 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 walk all the way down there. just a connected line. This is te technically our side of the yard. That's their side over there. See, you can see where I started the line. So all he has to do is just go down and connect it. That's it. Here it comes. I don't know if, that, if that's Duke or not. Okay. Hey. Hey. See, so it's actually someone's house back there. Yeah, right. chimney. Almost every house has a chimney. Every single flipping house. Every single flipping house has a chimney. Chimney. I just showed you our house, our other house next to it. So I think they may have an irrigation system that comes on every couple of seconds. I don't think someone's really gonna water this whole, this whole grass. Let's see if we can try to find them in the ground. These are irrigation systems that pop up. You know the little squirts that go like, and it just goes. You can't really get a sound. It just kind of spins and goes everywhere. They do sections of the yards. You guys know what I'm talking about, yeah, yeah. There's a flower growing on this one. Look at that, there's a flower growing on this one. It's not really safe to leave your bag up there, but hey. In this neighborhood, everyone probably doesn't give a shit about anyone. Or doesn't plan to say hi. I've seen these neighbors before, they're black, by the way. They're black. No, but I'm not playing. I'm not really sure it's anything. Hey, I wouldn't mind if our neighbors was white. Okay. Neighbors are neighbors. I mean, I've been to the community pool. Where I really want to go is Atlanta. That's where I really want to go. So, if you guys can try to help me out, there's this thing I'm trying to do. Um, Hopefully my bro gets paid some money and he can help me out with $150 and I'll pay him back because I think when he first gets paid, he might be working during the week. I don't know, we're gonna find that out soon. But I think when he gets paid, I'm gonna see if I can try to borrow 150. I was gonna ask one of my coworkers and then I'll just pay her back. Like that same day. But I'm afraid she may say, oh, I don't have it. Gosh, she does Lyft and Uber. Yeah. 
Well, I don't know. I, I'm gonna see if I can try to ask her today. I mean, we're, we're pretty cool with each other, so we share funny jokes. We roast on people. We work in the same, same exact um, department. We're both in the same, but it's just that she's a nurse's assistant. Well, she's a registered nurse's assistant. She's going to school to become. Well, she actually has a degree already. But she's just going to ASU to get her next degree. But yeah, she's a nurse at a school. She's a, a nurse's assistant. So she helps out with all the kids that need to be changed. Except for my kid. I do, I do my own kid. Not that way. I know what you guys are thinking. Not that way. But yeah, my kid, he can't. He can't. He can use the bathroom by himself, but he wears a diaper. He's a child adult, or he's not, he's non-verbal, but he can express his feelings in some kind of way. But yeah, so my kid needs changing. He needs help with the changing. Literally, you have to wipe him because he cannot do it himself. I mean, at first I was looking like, like when they first told me that, but at the job interview, I was like, oh, disability pie mountain. It's gonna be working with one of them kids. But, nah, they put me, okay, so I first started out at a third party department called, I'm not gonna say the name. I'll just put the, the uh, name of the place that I worked at in the comments, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, it was a third party, and so they used to send me to different schools to work with children. And they sent me to RSK one day. That's where my mom works. She works, I'm not going to tell you the name of the high school. I'm just going to say abbreviation RSK. So my mom was, she was also in the same company, the third party, but the, uh, the high school really liked this. So, and there was nobody else to, that they could, that, they needed her, like, they couldn't find anyone else to take, fill the position. If, and, well, technically they never did. They never did find a person to fill the position. So, at the end of May, they called her and said, hey, we would like for you to work with us. So, yeah, my mom accepted, accepted the position. So she now works for RSK with the same two kids she was working with before. And same thing goes for me. I was working with a student. I can't say his name, Article 9 reasons. But yeah, I was working with this kid for like, I don't know, maybe a week or two. It was the last, it was the last two weeks of school last year. And yeah, the school really liked me. They liked how I was working with the student. I mean, there was people, of course, that would assist me and help me, but um, yeah, they liked how I worked with the student, and so my mom pulled some strings for me, but I did I did all the work pretty much. She just told me she just knew some people that she kind of just say she pulled strings, and so they called me up and I they called me in for an interview. Did the interview? The principal was actually a really show person, so yeah. It's just that during the school hours, we don't even know each other. That's the thing. Pretend like we do not know each other. But after school hours, hey, we're, we're chilling, we're, we're vibing, we're bonding. We're all adults here, so. There you go. But yeah. I feel like sitting down in the middle of this grass right here, but I know it's wet. But yeah, we're, we're bonding, we're chilling. Uh, yeah. So yeah, so they ended up hiring me, working with the same student I was working with before. Yeah, so. Like, some people actually got attached to these kids. Like, they've been working with them for years. I mean, it's a high school, guys. You see kids come and go. Like, t right now, my sister, she now goes to the same high school that me and my mom work at. So yeah, she's now in the high school that me and my mom work at, so. We don't see her every day, we just see her after school. Before school starts. 
I mean, I see her around here and there during campus, but yeah, she's a sophomore now. She went in as a freshman, August. Now she's a sophomore. She's no longer fresh meat. That's what we call freshmen. Well, that's what I did back in my time. We call freshmen fresh meat. I came up with the name. I started. I started. I basically started. Oh shit! I basically started a trend at my high school. Like everyone does this now. Like people are hitting up my Facebook and saying, "Hey, dude, you started a trend here." Because I used to say, "What up, fresh meat?" Like we call instead of fresh meat, I would say fresh meat. And people actually started hearing me say this, and so they started using it. And it started to spread and spread. So by the time I left, they started using it, fresh meat. So yeah, they, they hit me up and said, dude, you're, you're famous over here. So yeah, apparently so I'm famous on my school for using it, fresh meat. But anyway, yeah, it's a, high, working in high school get, brings back memories. It, it, uh, I mean, knowing me, I don't think you guys know this, but I have a disability too. Everyone, I think pretty much everyone in the world does. They just don't show it. Some people, you can't really tell that they have a disability until they actually, you actually see it one day or they tell you. Otherwise, you're not gonna know. Pretty much half the world has a disability. But yeah, I struggle in math. I think almost everyone does. Some people, some people are actually really good at math. They're mathematicians. Like, they're boss at math. Like, you tell them, you tell them one problem, and they'll pick it up quick. They'll solve it, like, in an instant. This kid, I know. Um, I'm not gonna say his name. Uh, his mom is a mathematician. So that's how he became good at math. Excuse the noise in the background. That's just a lawnmower. Well, uh, as you can see, we're out here mowing the grass. Look, look, look. That's my side that I did. So my younger brother's doing that the side. But anyway, yeah. Let's see, back back to work. Um, so I'm I'm on. I'm in Georgia currently. See, Georgia's nice. Nice houses. Nice neighborhood. Yeah. So I'm currently vacationing in Georgia, visiting my dad and brothers on this side of the family. Of course, you know, psh, I flew out here. Hell no, I'm not driving, because that would be like, like a two day drive, I think. This nigga might be done, let's go see. Let's go see if he's done. He seemed to have walked away from the lawnmower. And I think my water might be inside. See, I think he may be done. No, no, he's not done. He's actually still got to do this side. But still, I think he may be done. Well, he might have to fill up with the bag and just... I, mean, I don't know, let's go see what's going on here. Because I did my side in one day. I did side number two, or well, side number one, as you can see, and side number two over there. And one day in the hot sun. So look, you saw that side over there. This is this side. See, I'm stopping. See, I'm smart. I stopped at the beginning of the back of the house. Went around a bush, bam. Hello there, dog. The power to be compelled. I'll push your skin back. <laughs> it comes toward me. <sighs> I'm 
to get another one of these. Can we eat this for breakfast? It's only one, two, three, four. If I have one. That's disgusting.